Uh, thank you for joining us. This is more of a picking your brain question than trying okay. to eliminate anything you said earlier. Um, given that these cosmological arguments kind of have their roots in rationalistic thought, but in your presentation, there seems to be somewhat of a reliance on empirical findings. I was curious, do you find yourself to be an empiricist? And if not, and you find yourself more to be on a rationalist strain, um, where do you land in terms of logicians or philosophers of language that you yeah. might endorse or sympathize with? Well, I'm not an empiricist in the sense of thinking that um, all knowledge comes through um, sense experience. I'm rather partial to the Kantian idea that the soul or the mind has a certain categorical structure to it that enables it to interpret the data of sense experience and that it brings this a priori to experience. Otherwise, experience would be unintelligible. So um, I, I uh, would be sort of a rational empiricist, I guess, in that sense, a, a combination uh, of the two. And I think that there um, can be a priori knowledge that isn't gained simply through sense experience. But I do have a tremendous interest, a genuine interest, in natural science and tremendous respect for the natural sciences. And so I always like to explore what does our empirical investigation of nature tell us about the question that I'm working on um, and to try to do a synoptic study that will take into account the deliverances of the natural sciences as well as purely philosophical considerations. If I might do a brief follow-up. Um, if you are some kind of a neo-Kantian, do you embrace the transcendental idealism or have you rejected it as many? Uh, say the last part again. Uh, do you embrace his transcendental idealism or have you rejected it oh, as many commentators have? No, 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 no. I, I, that would be one of the criticisms that I think one would lodge of Kant, where he says that the categories do not apply to things in themselves, and therefore we have no knowledge of things in themselves. We only, all we know is mere appearances. I think that that is not something that we should affirm and is probably even incoherent. Thank you very much. Thank you.